Hello classes, uh, by this point you should have already finished the warm-up, uh, roll taken and class ready to begin, right? So let's go over this. Uh, the way this is going to work, I will ask questions, you will raise your hands, the substitute will pause the video each time I ask a question, so you guys can raise your hand at that. I'll try to remind you to pause the video, uh, sorry if I don't do that very well, but uh, yeah, be good to the sub by the way. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate uh, Mr. Hansen coming in and taking care of this for me. Uh, great substitute teacher, you guys treat him well, alright? So, let's go over the uh, warm-up. Problem number one, 6 to the 7th times 4 to the 7th, what is that? Pause the video. Good. Hopefully you said 24 raised to the 7th. 6 times 4, 24, keep the same exponent, 7. Problem number two, 7 to the 11th times 7 to the 13th, what is that? Pause the video. Good. Hopefully you got 7 to the 24th. Oh, look at that. It's like I planned it out that they have the exact same thing to switch around. This one is where you keep the same base, add the exponents. 45 to the 7th divided by 5 to the 7th, pause the video. Good. Hopefully you got 9 to the 7th. 5 to the 4th divided by 7 to the 3rd. Pause. Hopefully you came up with cannot simplify. If you said cannot solve, it's the same thing as cannot simplify. We could solve that. We could multiply it out, divide it, but we can't simplify it as a fraction, as an exponential form. x to the 17th divided by x to the 9th. Pause. Hopefully you came up with x to the 8th. Subtract those two exponents. 5 to the 9th divided by 5 to the 2nd. Pause. Hopefully you came up with 5 to the 7th. Negative 3 to the 5th times negative 3 to the 8th. Pause. Hopefully you came up with negative 3 in parentheses, in parentheses, to the 13th. 6 to the 3rd times 5 to the 8th. Pause the video. Yes, hopefully you came up with cannot simplify. 5 to the 15th divided by 5 to the 8th. Pause. Hopefully you came up with 5 to the 7th. 3 to the 5th times y to the 5th. Pause. Hopefully you came up with 3y in parentheses to the 5th. 24 to the x divided by 6 to the x. Pause the video. Hopefully you came up with 4 to the x. And last, x to the 7th times x to the 4th. Pause the video. Hopefully you came up with x to the 11th. Okay, today's objective, we will learn more about volume, volume and surface area of cylinders, cones, and spheres. If this is first period, right now pause the video and uh, get a volunteer to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I will apologize if uh, all the kids that volunteer are with me at the state math contest. Okay, we're back. Unless we never left because it was the first. Class business, box tops. If you have box tops, uh, turn those in. Just put them on the desk there. Um, just your hands and keep them in a secure location. Leaving. If you know you're going to be leaving for the end of the class period, please let the substitute teacher know so they can expect that. Quizzes. If I, I will get you quizzes back to you guys next time. So, yeah. Oh, and we'll have a quiz next time on volume service area of cylinders, cones, and spheres. Homework. There is a worksheet planned for the day. Um, yeah, expect that. It'll have like two each for each of these things. You have to find the volume still under volume and surface area. If you guys finish the video quickly, then you'll have time during class to work on that. State math contest. That's where I'm at. Uh, hope everything's going well here. Hope you guys are treating the sub nice. You better be treating the sub nice. <sighs> All right, three good things. What's good right now? Uh, I'll share my good thing. We just finished up with our uh, practice run-throughs of the school musical for Saturday. Uh, they went reasonably well. Um, I feel like it's going to come together very nicely uh, for our performances next week. Look forward to that. I guess this week by the time you're watching the video. Uh, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday during the day, and at night you have two different options on Saturday. Anyway, come see the musical. Uh, if a couple other people want to share good things, raise your hands uh, and pause the video so that they can share their positive things. Let's go with just three, so first three people with their hands up. Okay, we are back. So, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is cylinders. We've already talked about these a bunch, so you should be very familiar with it. What is the volume of a cylinder? It is pi r squared times height. Surface area of a cylinder, pi times 2 times pi radius squared plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. Or 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Of course, that's using a radius here, r, and a height here, h. Let's say that we knew that the radius was, I don't know, uh, 3 meters and the height was 10 meters. It's not quite the scale, is it? Um, so we would have for volume, pi times 3 squared times that 10 for height. 3 squared is 9, so we'd have 9 times 10 times pi, which would make a total of 90 pi 
cubic meters. We write it meters cubed, it's pronounced cubic meters, remember that. Surface area. So 2 pi r squared, that's 2 pi times 3 squared, plus 2 pi times 3 times 10. That's what would happen if we substitute. On the next page, I'll have questions where I want you guys to substitute it in. That is the answer I'll be looking for, is we just replace the r with the 3 or whatever. So 2 pi times 9 plus 2 pi. Oh, let's move the pi to the end. I always like to do that. 2 times 3 times 10 is 30. And then 2 times 9, that's 18 pi plus 60 pi. 18 plus 60 gives you 78 pi meters squared, square meters. Oops, I did that same mistake. Sorry, guys. I have let you down. Um, 78 pi square meters. Try out these two here. Uh, pause the video while they're working on these. Okay, we're back. My first question is, what would be our volume formula on this one here? Pause the video. Hopefully someone came up with pi 4 squared, that's our radius, times the height, 10. And what would we have when we simplify that completely? Pause the video. Hopefully someone came up with 160 pi cubic meters. 4 squared is 16 times 10, 160, 160 pi cubic meters. Surface area. So surface area, uh, who could give me the substitution when we put in the radius and height for the surface area? Pause the video. Okay, hopefully someone came up with 2 pi 4 squared plus 2 pi 4 times 10. And what would we get when we simplify that completely? Pause the video. Hopefully somebody came up with... Shoot. Okay, so 2, 4 squared, that's uh, 16 times 2, 32. So 32 plus, that is 40, 80. 32 plus 80, 112 pi square centimeters. If I am wrong in either of these, I am very sorry. Um, yeah. And if I'm wrong in these, uh, Mr. Hansen, please make sure that you write down what needs to be corrected on it. Maybe just skip that part of the video. Uh, better for everyone involved. Okay, problem 15. We've got uh, this one, radius of 4, height of 3. So, you would have volume equals pi times... Oh, pause the video. Wait, pause the video if someone doesn't give us substitution. Okay, we're back. So, pi times 4 squared times the height, 3. So, that would give you, when you simplify what we have, pause the video. Hopefully, you came up with 48 pi cubic inches. Surface area... What would be our surface area when we substitute this in? Pause the video. So hope we came up with um, 2 pi 4 squared plus 2 pi 4 times 3. So what would we get when we simplify that completely? Hope we came up with 32 plus 24. Oh my gosh, I cannot think right now. 56 pi cubic or square inches. That is right, right? Yeah. So that is cylinders. You guys know them. You should be good at those. We'll have a quiz on it next time. Look forward to it. Cones. Cone is very similar to a cylinder. The volume especially. Volume is pi r squared times height. Now notice that the cone is kind of like a triangle. Remember how a triangle it was base times height divided by 2? Cone is base times height, pi r squared times height, divided by Three. Here's the difference. A triangle is a two-dimensional figure, so divide by two. A cone is a three-dimensional figure, so divide by three. If we had a four-dimensional cone, it would be divided by four. Theoretically speaking. I've not actually met a four-dimensional cone, so who knows. So pi r cubed divided by three. Pi r squared times height divided by three. Um, so let's look at that. Let's say that our uh, radius was uh, two, height is five. So we would have pi times two squared times 5 divided by 3. 2 squared would be 4 times 5 is 20. So we'd have 20 pi over 3, oh, let's get units here, inches, cubic inches. So it's the same as the cylinder formula, you just divide it by 3. Surface area. Surface area, we have this circle on the bottom here. That is equal to pi r squared. And then we have this area going on the outside. If we unfolded that, it would make a part of a circle sort of a Pac-Man type shape. And its area would be pi times the radius times what is called the slant height. That's this length right here. Notice there's two different heights. The height height that we use for the volume, slant height we use for surface area. 
pi r squared plus pi r h, kind of like the surface area for a cylinder. Whoa. 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Instead, it's pi r squared, oh, pi r l. Sorry, that's the thing I did wrong here. We call it the slant height, which is always labeled as l. Sort of a cursive l. Kind of weird. So for this one, we have pi r squared, so pi times 2 squared, plus pi r l, pi times 2 times 6. So that would give us pi times 4 plus pi times 12, giving us a total of 16 pi's. I wish I had 16 pi's right now, that'd be so nice. Actually, that's too many pi's, and I'd never make it out alive. Anyway, 16 pi square inches. Combs, great. Try doing these two here using the same formulas that we had on the previous page. I'm going to write them out up here. While I'm writing them out, you can already be working on this. Volume equals pi r squared times height divided by 3. That's a pi there, I swear. And then surface area equals pi r squared plus pi r l. Remember that the, uh, the h is the height of the cone. The l is the slant height of the cone. So pause the video, try these out on your own. Okay, we are back. So this first one here, you'd have pi times 3 squared times 4. And then we'd simplify, oh, I forgot to ask for someone to do that. Um, Mr. Hanson, uh, the next time you go through this class, make sure the policy has to give you that ahead of time. So, uh, volume equals pi times 3 squared times 4. Um, what did simplify to? Hopefully you guys pause the video. Hopefully come up with uh, 36 pi. 3 squared, 4 times 4. Oh, wait, we need to divide it by 3, don't we? So hopefully we came up with 12 pi. Fun thing is, I know in at least one class someone's going to give you the 36 pi because they'll forget, it, forget to have divided by the 3 there. So yeah, 36 pi divided by 3. Make sure you remember to divide by 3 in your volume of a cone. It's the only difference between cones and cylinders on volume. volume. Surface area. So what would be our substitution when we substitute in the uh, numbers for the radius and slant height on surface area? Pause the video. Hopefully you came up with pi 3 squared plus pi 3 times 5. And if we simplify that, what do we get? Pause the video. Hopefully you came up with 24 pi square centimeters. Yeah, I wrote that wrong. 24 pi square centimeters. 3 squared, 9. 3 times 5, 15. Add those together, 24. Okay, 18. What do we get when we substitute in the stuff for the volume? Pause the video. Okay, hope we came up with pi times 5 squared times 12. And what do we get when we simplify that? Pause the video. All right, hopefully we came up with 300 pi square feet. 25 times, 5 times 5 would be 25 times 12 is uh, 300. Surface area, what's our substitution on that? Pause the video. Hope we came up with pi 5 squared plus pi times 5 times 13. And what do we get when we simplify that? Pause the video. Hopefully we came up with 90 pi square feet. Oh, I missed this one up. It should have been cubic feet. My bad. Yeah, 5 squared, 25, 5 times 13, 65, 25, 65, 90. And there's one last one, and that is the sphere. The sphere is kind of the weirdest one. There's only one measure we use on a sphere, and that is the radius. So for volume of a sphere, volume is equal to pi r cubed. Wait, not just pi r cubed. Pi r cubed is kind of different. Everything else has pi r squared. And then you multiply that by 4 thirds. So basically you multiply it by 4, divide by 3. Um, surface area is equal to just 4 pi r squared. Just do pi r squared, circle, multiply it by 4. It's sort of convenient that way. I like it. Okay, so let's uh, check this out with an actual radius. Let's say our radius was 3. So the volume, we would have 4 thirds times pi times 3 cubed. Um, so that would be 4 thirds times pi times 27. 27 divided by 3 would be 9. So that would be like 9 times 4 times pi, giving us 36 pi. Let's get units here, miles. This is a giant sphere. Um, cubic miles. Surface area, 4 pi r squared. So 4 times pi times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4 is 36. So this ends up having the exact same uh, surface area and volume. Except that the units are different, aren't they? This would be square miles. Make sure you don't get fooled by that, that you use the same units. Okay, let's try these two out. Pause the video. And we are back.
So number 20, we've got uh, volume. What would be our substitutional volume on that? Hope we came up with four thirds time. Oh my gosh, it's three feet. That'll come out to be the exact same as the previous one we did, except it'll be uh, feet instead of miles. 21's far more interesting, let's do that one. So 21, volume equals, uh, what would it be? Pause the video. Hope we came up with four thirds pi six cubed. When you simplify that completely, you would get, you know what, I would just leave it like that. If I give you a calculator, do it, but if I don't, honestly, this answer here with cubic centimeters, that is a perfectly fine answer. There will be computer programs using college to do math that that's the best answer you could give. Surface area, 4 pi squared. So that's 4 pi 6 squared. So six, 36 times 4, which ends up being 144 pi square centimeters. Okay, that is it. You should have a worksheet now. See you later. Have a good one. Bye.